Hi everybody, welcome back to the Seesaw and another week of family meals. So we're starting out the week this week with a slow cooker roast chicken dinner. So this is just a um, chicken, that, a whole chicken that's been in the crock pot all day, bubbling away. I'm just, um, you don't really carve it up, do you, when you cook it in the crock pot, you just pull it apart. Um, pulled it apart and then had it with some crispy roast potatoes and some steamed broccoli, sweet corn, carrots and green beans along with some chicken gravy. So that is our start to the week, a chicken dinner. Hi everybody, it's Tuesday night and we've got simple pasta supper tonight. So this is barbecue chicken and bacon pasta. Um, just in a frying pan skillet, just cook off some diced chicken with some chopped onion, garlic and some chopped bacon. You want to cook it until the chicken is nicely cooked through. The bacon's starting to just crisp up a little bit and the onion's nice and soft. Then you want to add to that um, some passata. I added not quite a carton, so probably two thirds of a carton of passata. And then I added a cup of barbecue sauce, just whatever barbecue sauce you like. Um, stir that through and I added a little bit of water just to loosen it a bit and just let it all bubble away for about 10 minutes while you cook some pasta. And then stir it together with the pasta, sprinkle some cheese over the top of the pot, pop a lid on it and just let it, um, let the cheese melt. And it's as simple as that. So great one for kids. Again, um, you could put other vegetables in here. You could put mushrooms, especially your peppers, something like that. But I've just kept it simple with the onions. And then we've got some tender stem broccoli on the side. Only the stems weren't particularly tender. So I've had to cut some of the really woody parts of the stems off. That is mine and that is Caleb's. You can see the cheese on Caleb's. Mine's is kind of all mixed together. Um, <clears throat> and then there's plenty more left in the pot. You make it with this makes a huge pot. So I used 500 grams of pasta um, and it's a combination of there was some penne left, not quite 500 grams. And so I've just topped it up with some of the fusilli from our giant bag of fusilli. But off to enjoy this on a Tuesday night. Hi everybody, so it is Wednesday night and tonight we've got a fish and chip supper. So these are the Young's, these chip shop cod fillets in a crisp bubbly batter. I got them from Iceland. You can see they're only 216 calories per fillet. So if you're counting calories, that's quite a good way to have a kind of fish and chip. And they're quite a decent size. Um, I did also have in the freezer in the house just a few left in a pack of the Iceland crispy um, fish strips i forget what they're called fish 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 strips i think um we bought a couple of new packs some flavored ones and some regular ones with the iceland haul but i had a few left in a bag in the freezer so i've just cooked those up as well and we've each got a couple of those we've got some chips cooked in the actor fryer i've got mushy peas the boys have got garden peas i've got some mint sauce because you can't have mushy peas without mint sauce and then I've got a little pot of curry sauce, which is one I've just made up from the powder, um, like the great, like gravy mix um, in, a, in a canister, um, some of the chip shop curry sauce. And so we've got that for dipping in the chips and some of the fish as well. So off to enjoy a fish and chip supper of sorts on a Wednesday night. Hi everybody, so it's Thursday night and we've got the second night of convenience foods this week. So I've got the frozen chicken pies. These are the Tesco's own brand ones. We've got that with some little baby potatoes that I've just boiled and buttered with some parsley. We've got some steamed broccoli and cabbage. And then I've got the rest of the mushy peas from last night's fish and chip supper. Um, and a little bit of mint sauce, of course. And then we've got some gravy with the vegetables. So that's our quick and simple Thursday night supper. Hi everybody, so it's Friday and we've got a Friday fish supper. So I've got some steamed broccoli, some little roasties that I've just done in the actor fryer, and then I've got some Cajun blackened salmon. So that is some, it was a half side of salmon that I cut into portions, and then I've put some Cajun seasoning on the top. I put it skin side down in the pan with just a little bit of oil for about four or five minutes just to sear the top, and it starts to, the, the seasoning starts to blacken. And then I flipped it back over, and let it cook skin side down for the rest of the cooking time until the skin was nice and crispy on the bottom and you can see it's nice and juicy inside. So off to enjoy a Friday fish supper. Hey everybody, so it's Saturday night and tonight we've got a big pot of pasta goodness. So it's a pasta bolognese, <clears throat> but I did something a bit different with the sauce today. So I, in a saucepan, I combined some carrots, onions, garlic, celery, 
um, some oregano, some salt and pepper, a can of chopped tomatoes, a carton of passata. And I just let that all bubble away for about half an hour. And then I blitzed it. And I didn't go it to it completely. It didn't turn into like juice. <laughs> but it's it's blitzed all the vegetables together. And then I stirred that through a package of browned mince. Combined that with some cooked um, penne pasta. And then you can see here I've stirred through some cubed up feta cheese just for something a bit different, and sprinkled in some parsley, some finely chopped parsley. So that is our pasta supper for a Saturday night, and we're having it with this. This is the Carlo's Aldi's Carlo's um, pizza garlic bread. So these are the mini ones. We've got two of those. You can see they've got cheese, garlic, um, and they're like a pizza dough base. Really, really tasty. So we've got those to go with it. So that is our Saturday night pasta supper. Hi everybody, so it's Sunday night and we're rounding off the week with a steak dinner tonight. I've been so looking forward to this all day. This is a nice piece of rump steak under here that I've just cooked in the pan for about three minutes on each side. I've got some of the TGI Friday's Cajun onion rings. These are the Aldi um, thrice cooked chips. So they're um, the ones that go nice and crispy but they've got a lot of flavour in them. We've got some peas, I've got some mushrooms, I've got some cherry tomatoes. I don't like cooked tomatoes, like this sort of cooked tomatoes. I like tomatoes in stuff, like in a pasta sauce or um, stir fry or something like that. But I don't like just cooked tomato, chunks of cooked tomato. So mine are just some chopped cherry tomatoes. And then I've just made up a package of the Coleman's um, peppercorn or pepper sauce to pour over. So off to enjoy a steak dinner to finish our weekend. And thank you for joining us for this week of meals and we look forward to seeing you back here on The Seesaw soon.